<laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back. That is right. We are back. Everything we are back. is as it should be. Chris here, Green Beret medic, husband, and father. And I'm Pastor Eric, located in central Wisconsin, thousands of miles away from where Chris is. And yes, we are back to normal. It's good and yet i'm sad Bitter, back to you bittersweet Bitter it's a bittersweet sweet. anyway coming at you guys this week i'm going to be telling you why i think people do bad things and it's because they want <laughs> they all want three things this is my personal theory we're going to cover uh the headlines some that we missed while we were while we were out over those two weeks and some that are more recent oh, but being together we talked about them we did oh, yeah. we did oh, yeah. But we're going to we're going to cover the headlines and who's who and what's new. And then we're going to wrap up uh, moving into our Bible's biggest bungaloids. Say that five times fast. This week nope. we are going to do Peter's Peter. redemption story. And I'm really excited. Are you ready? I am ready. All right. Here we go. Sorry, man. For the frogs, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, working them out, bud. Why, sir? You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the big idea. And for the big idea this week, I wanted to give you one of my personal theories. This is a Chris Hambrock original. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. But I will say that I do believe that it is well rooted in much bigger thinkers and philosophizers than myself is where I've got right. where I've gotten this theory. But I want to tell you guys about why I think people do bad things. And it's actually pretty simple when when you wrap it all up. This goes back Please. to Please Write a book and make some money off of this, okay? Because <laughs> if you've got it figured out, I do. I do have it okay. figured out. I All promise. Right. I, Hit me well, with see, I know why shot. they do the bad things. You know, it's the it's the okay. What to, what then? You know, it's like the what, the so what, and the then what. You know. But mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. so this goes back to a conversation that I was having with a friend of mine, and he was like, he was trying to tell me about how he envisions, you know, the, the movers and the shakers, the power brokers of the world, like to sit in their little, uh, evil, I don't ivory towers, sure. Ivory towers. Around their circle tables and they're spinning their little yarns and they're like, okay, next we are going to blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know, I don't, I really don't think the world works that way. And he goes, dude, no. I'm telling oh, you it but... does because he's like, how do the politicians and the news media and the, and the billionaires and like all these people with power and affluence, how come they're always pushing the same direction? How come they mm -hmm. all seem to be moving in, in one direction? Right. And I was like, well, I, I think it's a lot simpler <clears throat> than that really. And I really do think that it all goes back to the fact that people all want three things. And those three things that I believe that people will do anything for, they'll kill for them, right? Wealth, power, and prestige. Wealth, money, right? That one's pretty simple. Power, the ability to exert your will on somebody else, right? Or prestige, you might say fame, right? Mm -hmm. Name recognition. But it's mm -hmm. like when you wrap up those three things and, and to some people, to varying degrees, some people care more about the money and the power than they do the prestige. I'm cool with being behind, behind the curtain. Some people want the name recognition, uh, and they want the, the money, uh, but then they're too airheaded to know how to do anything with it and exert any power, right? See any modern pop star, right? But but it, it's still some combination of those three things. That's my personal theory. What do you think? Uh, I think uh, I think you're onto something. But there, I do believe that there's there's a more intelligent. Just as I believe that there is a um, a master intelligence in creation, I do believe that there's a master intelligence in in evil uh, that helps to coerce all those things. And so it takes the nature of man. You pulled out the big three. Uh, and so therefore it's not hard for a master 
uh, manipulator to pull on the strings of those three things because it's the I want, I want, I want, and and be able to um, play a symphony with people and and make it work together. Mm -hmm. uh, there may be this little is things. So easy. so ha ha ha. I know yes. you and I. You know yes. what that reference is. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, and that's that's exactly right. And the other thing is is. Uh, there are times that we go, but this thing out over here doesn't, you know, this is evil and doesn't seem to play around with this, but it's, a, it, it's amazing how the, how they're, how they're coercive together. Um, and, and how things like that come together. Yes. I do believe that there is a master evil, uh, that coordinates all those things. And I truly believe, uh, and I think this is what you were alluding to. So I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you tell me, uh, man is not good enough to coordinate all these things that are going on. There's too many people, too many moving parts to make it all work very well because every one of those people have their own will, their own things that they're good going for. And yet there just seems to be this very well coordinated effort in order to make things happen. And that's because I believe that there is an evil one behind the scenes that is actually helping and using that, that evilness of heart in order to coordinate all the things. Everybody's after what they want. He is just using all of that to get to his end. Sure. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to push back on you on that one. I was more alluding to like what the personal motivations of, of people that do evil things are <laughs> like, if you were to like really shake it down to be like, you know, why did that guy do that? Why does a politician, right? Go into office and, uh, they say that they're going to clean up the streets and they're tough on. Well, that's what you just say to get elected, but, <laughs> that, but, yeah. but, <clears throat> why why go through all the problems uh through through all the work to get elected to then turn your back you know on your constituents why go through all the work to build a multi billion dollar there's somebody else corporation who paid for you to get elected you know you got to get the votes right 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 but, but you see what i'm saying you're when after you, the money <laughs> when you pair it all down Sure. You shake everything out and you're left with just the bare bones. It's because those people, like all people, just want wealth, power, and prestige. And then when they turn around uh, and they do a thing, you know, I, I, I can't help but be a little influenced why I'm thinking along these lines this week is because of what's going on in, in Congress. Kind of a big deal, first time in U.S. history that uh, Speaker of the House was vacated, right? Sort of a big deal. And there's a lot, oh, of, it's political, a big, big deal. A lot of political infighting that's going on right now where people are, you got the uh, one of the former Speakers of the House, Newt Gingrich, calling uh, eight Republicans that voted to with all of the Democratic side of the Congress uh, to vacate the speaker, calling them traitors, uh, saying that they should be thrown out of the Republican caucus. And a lot of people are up in arms. How could they do that? I'm for this guy. I'm for that guy. I thought this guy had our back. And it's like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you when, when people do a thing, right. And, and you, you can't figure out, it's like, what could the motivation for that have <laughs> possibly have been? I'm telling mm -hmm. you, it all goes back to people are freaking selfish it's <laughs> just oh, yeah. at their, just yeah. at their core. Yeah. And I guarantee you it was because they want wealth, power or prestige. And they had an opportunity to move, <laughs> to shake and move and to, to attain one of those things. And one of those, you know, to put points on one of those boards. <laughs> As I were. was in a conversation with a guy who played for the Cincinnati Bengals one time. He was done with his Bengals career. He's, he's an all-star. I'm not going to, I got to drop any names here like Chris Collinsworth. But anyway, I was talking with him <laughs> because it totally it, wasn't Chris Collinsworth. It was. Oh, oh shoot. Was, no way. <laughs> I was talking with Chris Collinsworth. Okay. Oh, oh. And, and I, I <laughs> made a statement, something he, and he was Let's doing, just be honest, uh, talk, he wouldn't recognize you from Adam. No, <laughs> no, no, I just happened to be able to have a conversation with him. He would not know who I am. No. <laughs> um, anyway, I, did, by the way, Still the other cool. day I did find my Still picture with Tom Browning though, oh. with, 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 uh, when we play basketball and stuff together. But anyway, um, 
but we're, no, we we're always were a, we're always on the edge of important things, but never in the always, spotlight. but just the edge. <laughs> just. And I I asked him, you know, it's like well, he's he's in the know. He's hanging out with a lot of the Cincinnati Reds and the Bengals and so forth, and and he was in the the, the know. And so I just asked him right off the cuff. I said, um, why is this just doesn't make sense doing this particular deal and this particular money when, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense. You know, when he goes, first off, you're about winning. This is a business. <laughs> That's two different think, think lines of thinking. Yeah. He said, and then let me just say this to you. And what he was doing was, is he didn't want to give up what he knew and, and, and so forth. So he said it to me like this. He said, when something happens in a big way that makes no sense, just say money. Every single time, man. And that's the first time I was a young man when he, you know, and that's the first time I had ever, ever heard that statement. Um, because I don't run in the kind of circles where that's an issue. Right. Um, but uh, but here we are, the peons of the world, and we're listening to the news. And for what we can figure out, what is really told, and of course, this is being horribly hidden nowadays because we're not even, you know, we're in the days where you can't believe the news. Well, uh, we're we're in the days so where you're so even oversaturated evaluate. with information. Uh, cause it's I mean, what's the, what's the better, what, like, what's the only thing better than, than not letting information out at all, put it all out there and they won't be able to figure out what's true. If you can't, that, you know, and, and every but, spin and every spin on it. Right, right. And so then what's true. I have no idea. Right. I have no idea. So, you know, we got people that, that want to stay with Fox and then go, but it's conservative. Now Fox has a spin. Everybody has a spin. Yeah. And because we're so saturated, what is the truth? I have no idea. But in our current in our current culture, this is what – and Chris Collins, boy, he said that to me. My goodness, I was in my 20s. And uh, so here I am, you know, at, at the ripe age I am right now. So what are we talking, 30-some years ago? And he, and he said that to me 30-some years ago back when, when we were at least getting facts in the news and we weren't getting opinions for news. And he said, if something happens and you – it doesn't make sense to you, just say – money it doesn't pass the sniff test <laughs> yeah and, and and look at where we're at now oh yeah you know oh, man um but and and i think now that that doesn't necessarily hold water and i'll tell you why i'll, I'll give you a quick one can i can i use an example here that's just happening yeah full so send. the the wall is starting oh, oh hold the phone. Hold, hold your no hold you hold that i thought. can't you hold can't. that thought we're gonna get to it but we'll get to that okay well let over me just, the say, who's let who me just finish new. this i'm not going to talk about the rest of it but okay. i will say this i don't think it's about money so i have no idea about that one i i have no idea i have a why, I have, why I have that a, policy has turned i have a hot take on it for you but hey so that's what we we'll got for you guys for that's what we got for you guys this week on the big idea. Wealth, power, prestige. What is it that every person wants? What's it you know that they're willing to, to steal, to kill for? I mean, that's what I think that it is. If you guys have a different wow. theory, you let me know down below in the comments. And I hope can you guys we, are sticking around for the who's who and what's new. What's up? Can we b bring that back in, in that context? Oh, you disappeared. I, I am disappearing a lot. So <laughs> anyway, can we bring that back in that context? Let's let's bring this back around and say, what is the price? Mm. Well, we could talk about at that what, next week. At what price will will people do? It? I I'd like to know what how high how low. What, what, where's the price range? Well, we'll bring that back and we'll talk about it next week. How about okay. that? Okay, sounds good. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please stick around for the who's who and what's new and the keeping the main thing the main thing. As always, if you like the video, please like subscribe follow and you guys know that the algorithms do not like us very much and are certainly nope. not going to help us so the only way that we're going to grow is with your support please share the video with a friend and we'll catch you guys on the next one see you there